you know, life doesn't owe you anything. Never complain. All you are owed is an opportunity. Opportunity is abundant. Mm -hmm. We live in a world that has unlimited opportunity, especially if you're willing to look for it. Mm -hmm. Looking for it is predicated on the fact that you put in the work. You put in the work because you knew that you were gonna go look for it. Mm -hmm. So I believe in preparation, preparation, preparation because I just believe that opportunity is yeah. almost like oxygen. It's everywhere, always, and some opportunities are bigger than others, but preparation, man, people don't do, people convince themselves before they start that the world is unjust or they can't, or they complain, they dwell, they say no before they say yes, and of course, look, if you say no, <laughs> it's already over. Like literally if you wake up and say, it's not gonna happen for me, <laughs> it's already over, you, you might as well not try. Talk about hard work all the time. It's like, you know, man, if you gotta get up every single morning and remind yourself how hard you need to work, you probably need to choose a different profession, you know? Because that shouldn't be there. I wake up in the morning excited to get to it. You know, if I'm not training, I'm missing it. If I'm not watching a game of basketball, I miss it. I, you know, there's no place I'd rather be. And if you have that feeling, then you're truly doing what God has put you on this earth to do. I think the best way to prove your, your value is to work is to learn, is to absorb, um, to be a sponge. Right? But you always want to outwork your potential. You know, as hard as you believe you can work, you can work harder than that. Your destiny is in your hands. Uh, and um, I succeeded because I had to. Um, no one sorted anything out for me. And if I was going to do something, I had to do it myself. That's it. And, and I would say to every one of you here, don't sit around relying upon magically some government going to create an environment that's going to make it easy for you to find work and find jobs. You've got to go out there and fight for it yourself. I'm sorry to say I can't give you any other, any other form of advice. If you want something bad enough, you do it. And if you look at some of these wannabes, that make themselves television stars or, um, uh, and pop stars and all that type of stuff, they have a desire to want to be famous and they don't stop until they're recognised and they do. And half the people that you see on television these days um, in the entertainment industry are those that had a determination that wanted to do it. Working. I saw my parents working. And so to me, and my father always said, Donald, no matter what you do, be useful. And so that always was in my mind. So I was willing to work, work, work. And this is why I always tell people, don't ever expect to get things done to, uh, through a shortcut. Because a lot of people out there are looking for the shortcut. You know, if it is in bodybuilding, they look for the special food supplements or the special drug or the special this that gives you the edge and stuff like that. You can take whatever you want. But if you're not willing to work four or five hours a day in the gym, work out and work hard, you're not going to make it, you know, no matter what you take. And we've seen it over and over, because anyone can take anything. This is available, the stuff, but I mean, there's only, you have to kind of create yourself and make yourself a champion. It's all through hard work. When you come from the working class background that I come from, I feel guilty uh, at 10 to 5 if I'm not in the office. I know that might found, sound strange to you, but that's a, it, it, it's, there's a work ethic that um, I have to be half dead uh, not to not go to work. Uh, it, it's a kind of a work ethic that's built into me. Every single morning, uh, I'm standing at the window screaming to the sun to rise because I want this. It's all about effort and what you want. We from nothing, we come from nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So. Why not uh, 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 empty the tank every single day you get out the bed? Why not take a chance? Why not struggle for a little while so you can shine forever? That's what it's about. And a lot of people lose out on that opportunity of shining because, you know, you dip and dab. You know, God, when he gives you a gift, he don't want you to play with it. And your faith got to be big. You know, a lot of us got halfway faith. Me, I always had that whole way faith. I don't care when I had a, I ain't have a dollar in my pocket. When I walked in the room full of millionaires, activists, celebrities, they look at me. You hear what I'm saying? That's the aura that, that God gave me. 
And, and that's why I tell these young kings, work for your purpose and not the money, because I'm telling you, your purpose will make you shine even brighter than a man that got a million dollars in his bank account.